Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Mama, I don't want to go. Why? My f my father is going to be very mad at us. Obina, listen to me. Your father is nothing compared to our reason for living here. Okay? We are rich now. I have four million naira to take care of us. Four million naira? That's a lot of money. Where, where do you get that kind of money from? Got the money from the man who knows how to take care of a woman better than your father. He sent your stepsister outside the country to study, forgetting that you are his son. But I don't have the money now, okay? And I want to treat you alike. Oh, wouldn't you want to study abroad? I would like to, Mama. Hey, that's my son. Now hurry up, hurry up, carry your bag. Let's go. I hope you put my inhaler in my bag. Personal driver, a royal car. 
Sorry, I don't understand my princess. Oh. Are you always this dumb? Why is your IQ so low for heaven's sake? Do you have a problem with grammar? No, my princess. My princess, the thing is that the princess personal driver dropped us and left. Oh, well, let me explain some. <laughs> I'll explain from here. Let me explain something to you because I'm sure you're from some poor and dirty neighboring village. When a princess wakes up in the morning and she sees her two supposed maidens, she's expected to have her royal car, a personal driver, Bodyguards, if possible, a convoy. And if she doesn't see any of this, she goes back to bed. And hopefully, when she wakes up, everything will be fine. My princess, will you get your smelling stuff out of my house? Come back here. When you get to the palace, brush your mouth. And Take a shower because your stench is all over the fabric in this house. Hmm? Get out. Come, come, come back here. And what is the magic word? Thank, Thank you, my princess. Get out. Seriously, what have I done? I mean, look at the two of them. You know, I could imagine these two <laughs> kissing <laughs> at 90. Nah, I don't want to I don't want to sit. Come in. <laughs> Agoba, greetings. What is the problem? Something out of the ordinary. Did somebody die? Not yet. Okay, so what's the problem? The maidens are back. They said the princess to be a request that she must come to this palace with a royal guard, palace car with a palace official plate number. What? That's okay. It's all right. Okay, Akuba, arrange your car, okay? Three maidens, and uh, you can go with them as well, okay? It's okay. You can, you can be with her. I won't be needing you as often as I would, okay? So um, I expect that you be there for her when she needs you. All right? Dad! How could you possibly be in support of this? So that, that's your brother's fiance we're talking about here. I'll do anything for her as if he weren't here. Uh, or tell me, do you also need a driver and uh, a guard? I'm good. I've enjoyed enough kind gesture ever since I was born. So. Uh, okay. Uh, so, mm, shall, shall mm, we? Yeah. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, father, please. All right. <laughs> Have a lot of things like that. Eh? Is it a piece? <laughs> 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 
The sun shines and brightens life. Ingenitus Zaramando, <laughs> the most beautiful queen in this kingdom. That's what you will become, my daughter. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, my <laughs> dear. <laughs> So finally you came with my request? Yes, my princess. This is Aguba, your personal garden driver. Good morning, my princess to be. What was that? Are you dumb? Correct yourself, young man. Sorry, my princess. Good. Much better. Good. And I hope you don't expect me to walk on this bare floor. Do I bend so you ride on my back? That's not what I mean, you moron. Where is my royal mat and flowers you're supposed to spread on the floor for me to walk on? Sorry? Flowers? Yes, flowers, dumb. Sorry, my princess, but you never made a request for that. <laughs> well, now you know. When next you come here without my royal mat and flowers, you will not like my actions. Papa. My princess. <laughs> Let me go meet my husband, the prince. Okay, my daughter. Take care, eh? <laughs> yes. Flaunt it because you have it. Thank you. <laughs> it Zara Mandu, <laughs> Ada Daddy. 
Do I need to kickstart your brains? Pick it up. Zaramanto, Zaramanto. Want it, my daughter. You have it. <laughs> Yes, that's the mark of a pig. Just two years that you left this village. Just two years. Look at you. You're just looking like someone that went to Bodo Yiba and came back. Looking like a fresh young boy. Hey! <laughs> I'm glad that you can see me with your two eyes. I, I am seeing with my two eyes. My eyes are open. I'm looking at you like I'm looking at you. Ah! Oh, baby. Look at you. See, if not for that much of a mother eh, that I have, see, let me tell you, I would have gone with you to anywhere you're going to. But you see that woman? That woman will not allow anything good to come my way. I'm telling you. And you see this time? You will not leave this village without me. Anywhere you're going to, I will go with you. If she like, let her go and hug transform. It's not my business. Let her hug a big transformer and die. Good. <laughs> now you are sounding like the strong Obin I used to know. Hey, <laughs> Joshua. Joshua, I am not strong. I started doing strong, strong things, stronger things than you used to know me before. Stronger things. Obi. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Nice one, nice one. Nice nice one. <laughs> this camera, eh? Hey, Josh, you will go with this and I will take it. <laughs> I need to go to club. Hey, yeah. Let's go inside. Let me give you the little thing that I have. Yeah. Any little thing, you don't manage. <laughs> Obi! <laughs> No, Obina. You must not step your legs into that kingdom. I am warning you for your own good. No, Mama. You're not warning me for my own good. You are warning me for your own selfish interest. Yes. See, Mama. You were the one that collected four million naira and squandered it. I did not share it with you. Now it's my turn to go and collect my own share of the money. Obina, do not forget I carried you in my womb for nine months. 
You will hate yourself if you dare me. Mm. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> watch me. Ma, watch me. Nine months. Me, I've been eating for nine months. I've also eaten for nine months. Sing for me, oh. then I dance for you. I'm very happy. Pardon? Aha, here he goes. <laughs> Elvis, it's so good to have you back. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Mom, how you doing? Hey. That's my wife. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> hmm. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Look at you, baby. As beautiful as always. I know. <laughs> you see, she, she's been in good hands. <laughs> Evidently, guys. Evidently. Welcome back, my love. Thank you, baby. So tell me, how um, has this town been treating you? Uh, not as bad as as much as I've missed you. Really? Tell you what, baby. I've missed you even more. <laughs> hmm? Please get a room. I know, mom. You know what, um, let's, um, you know. <laughs> You've been with these people way too long. Don't you? <laughs> After you. After you, darling. <laughs> they look so good together. Oh, yes. I remember when you were. See, you've grown all fat. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Please. <laughs> What's so special about her? Is she better than any one of us here? Please. I'm done with her. I'll tell the queen to take me off this one. So as poor as she was before, she could still be wicked enough to flog a blind man with her child. Can you imagine? I've never heard of something as awful as this before. If this girl can be like this in a few days, only God knows what she will become in a month. Oh. You know what? I pity the both of you. Pity yourself first because you're permanently in this situation. What situation?
I'm sorry, my princess. Um, we were just discussing about the Nigerian government. So Zara is now the president of this country. I've heard things relating to her, considering the fact that you girls have been with her all through today. Speak! Uh, actually, my princess... Um, actually, not in my princess. Agnes. I'm sorry, my princess. My princess, you are not just comfortable with the new princess. Princess to be. I'm sorry, my princess. This is the most meaningful statement you've made. I promise you, very soon, that pest will be back where she belongs. Thank, Thank you. you, my princess. Why do you want to make me act like a monster? I beg of you. You can go to any other place you want for this, to, in search of the supposed greener pasture. But obviously not in the Agaba Kingdom. Mama, I am tired of hearing these your strange stories. Those strange stories that comes out of your mouth. I am tired of hearing them. Unlike you, I will go to Agaba Kingdom. I will make the money and I will come back and spend it with you. Hmm? I'm really you. <laughs> I've missed you so much. I miss you too. Hmm? So tell me, how long has it been? Huh? Three, four, five years? Actually, four years, two months, one week and two days. Oh no, how romantic. <laughs> you remember? 
Well, I can only be romantic for my man, and that is you. Ah, uh, look at you. Hmm? Come here, kiss me. Tell you what, darling. Looking at you right now, I remember vividly how you and I got engaged. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm also looking at that finger and I can't find my ring on it. Ah, uh, four years. Four years it calls so many calories, but that ring doesn't fit my finger anymore. Well, I'm looking at you right now. It doesn't seem to me like you put on weight. Well, where's my ring? What can I say? Honey, you've been abroad for so long. You're used to all those skinny girls. <laughs> You're just talking from your own perspective. Please, I'm sorry, please. You can't see through her, can you? But ever since you stepped your foot into this compound, I know how selfish, lying, wicked you could be. What nonsense are you talking about? Um, Natasha? Please. Show some respect, all right? That's my wife to be. You have no rights whatsoever to speak to her in that man. Yeah? And she's got the right to whip an old blind woman. Yeah. With their walking stick. Damn. You are heartless. What? Listen carefully, Zara. This royal privilege that is making you all puffy. It's a tradition I grew up with, and no bitch has handled it better than me. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look who is jealous. Zara. Please tell me the truth. Did you, truly, flog a blind old woman? Baby was just a little. How about telling the truth for once in your life? Just a little? Huh? Did you say just a little? How could you? That's weakness. That's outrageous. Why would you do something like that? Don't touch me! What is wrong with you? When I tell you how awful she's been, you use more complicated words. Let alone now, she's been given some royal privileges to boost her stupid ego. I will not stand here and watch the children of one of the most dangerous men I know judge me. Excuse me. Elvis, did you hear her? Listen, I know you're just a surgeon, not a psychiatrist, but isn't that little voice in your head telling you that this girl is a total mess? Yeah, well, yeah, she's a mess, right? But she's a beautiful mess, look at her. You know what? Call me when you're back to your senses, because I can tell you're not. Okaramo, what do I owe this visit? Very surprised visit. What do I owe you to? Iwezugo. May you live long. There was a time you worshipped me like one of the gods. You celebrated my arrival. I celebrate you today. You visited my shrine on a daily basis. But today, I visit you. No more respect. Oh. Oh, Karamo, it's just as simple as ABC. No matter what, the Dibia must not lose that which makes him a Dibia. No! As you go, no. I have not lost that which may be the greatest debate of our time. But whatever happened, it was your fault. I have not said you have lost that which makes you a Dibia. 
Rather, I'm simply emphasizing on respect. Respect as one. Hey, Zugo. You should know that one of the reasons why the people respect me so much as one of the greatest debate of our time is because of my ability to see the present and the future. For now, your son is back, and these are counting. Or do I say, oh no, Wagazi is counting? Oh, Karamo, I do not understand. If you've come to my palace to gloat, or to deliver a message. <laughs> Call it whatever you like, but he is counting. I guess he is counting. Oh, now? What does Okaramo want from me? Is it that he wants me to prostrate before him? Or has he just forgotten that I am king? Oh no. Ever so beautiful, my gorgeous one. You look as stunning as all. <laughs> I know, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and flowers I requested for. Zara? Baby, I'm, I'm just still standing. Did you just slap my maidens right in front of me? Well, if there's no one sane enough in the palace to teach this... this thing's manners, I would gladly do it. Manners? Manners on how to roll out the carpet and then spray flowers on it so that you can work on it. Now why don't you go ahead and request that someone chews and swallows your food when you get hungry or better still, get Agoba here to borrow you his nose when you need to breathe. Will that be manners for you? Thank you, my prince. You're very stupid. Elvis, where do you get this kind of people from? And, and don't blame me if your mother is not cautious enough to teach this things how to treat a queen. I am not that lousy too. You did just insinuate. My mother. The queen of Agaba Kingdom is a lousy woman. Well, can someone agree with me on that? All right, everyone, that's the height of it. This date is officially cancelled. I got up. Get out of this place. Get up. <laughs> Move.
What? Guy, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I had to kill her. I had to waste that old woman. Can you imagine? She was practically telling someone to do away with me. Guy, I heard it. I had to come back and no waste time. Knock her straight. And knock her, no waste any time. I'm telling you. Wow. You know, as evil and creepy as this sounds, Don Gordon is going to like you. <laughs> yeah. You know, your type is so good for this business. <laughs> so, uh, who are we wasting time? <laughs> you know, I, I need to make one or two calls. Uh, meanwhile, I have a date with a very beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I will drop you there and come back for you later. Joshua, yes, no shaking. Just give me a minute. Josh, you may want to talk to Thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 no. I should be the one thanking you. I had lots of fun. And to top it up, you brought me into a palace. Pleasure is all mine. Oh, here. You carelessly forgot it at the hotel. Oh, my God. I didn't even notice. You know, it's quite expensive. I know how much it's worth. You know, so many girls will have sold this wristwatch. You have a kind heart. Can we do this again? Maybe. Maybe? Let's leave things the way they are. I had a nice time. Alright, see you soon, beautiful. Bye. Bye. What is the street number? And how much do you think you can get from them tonight? Yes, I have enough bullets. Go with that. Go with that. It's totally unacceptable, all right? I'm no! Sorry. You're sorry? I, I'm apologizing. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry I came out wrong. You know I have a thing with Tampa. Oh, just stop it. Right? That's not an excuse. You're a grown woman. Put it in check. You don't come out looking all beautiful and nice and then you, at the slightest opportunity you 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 you, you become mean to people. But what Shut up, I'm talking. Alright? A permanent bad impression is rather a very good one that suddenly fades away at the slightest opportunity. 
So am I going to apologize and argue the whole day before you forgive, forgive me and accept my apologies? How typical of you. Tell me, Zara, when would you ever take full responsibility for your actions without having to turn the table around? When? Okay. I am sorry, Prince Elvis Ezugo, for insinuating your mother is less it conscious. It doesn't end there. You'd have to promise me that you'd begin to treat those maidens like human beings. All right? I promise I'll try not to. Is that okay? We'll see, right? Can, can, can you just... Can you, can you stop? Honey, I've been apologizing since now. You know I love you. Zara, can you stop? We're in the bedroom. <laughs> So what are you going to do with yours? <laughs> Josh, you can ask question, no? <laughs> Josh, you see that your car? That's your exact car. I'm going to buy it. I'll buy that exact car, the same color, everything. Even the inside, everything will be the same. Then the other money, eh? I'll go to the boutique. I'll change my wardrobe. Buy new clothes, buy jackets, dress like you. <laughs> so the girls will be dripping. So I can't. <laughs> the girls will be dripping. And you, what would you do with your mom? Because you're not lacking anything. You have everything. Everything you need, you have it. Well, I'm just going to spoil the princess a little. You mean the princess of this land? Of course. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, my father used to be friends with the Igwe. And that was why they were able to send my stepsister abroad. That means your father must be a very prominent man in this society. Who is your father? What is his name? I might know him. I know Wagazi. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I mean, everyone in this society knows that. Ono Wagazi has only one daughter. And that's what I think. But the truth is this. My father met my mother in a brutal where she was doing her prostitution. Ashe. Ashawo. My mother. Ashawo. Uh, but he came back for us, so came back for us, but he refused to introduce us to people. I guess he was ashamed of us. And that was why my mother collected the money she collected from whomsoever she collected the money from for us to leave the land. Listen, Obinna, if this story you have just told me is true, that means you are the right heir to the truth. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Joshua, <laughs> uh, Josh, I don't think you heard me right. I said I am the son of Ono, not the son of the Igwe. <laughs> Listen to me, Obina. By the time I have told you what I want to tell you, you will know who you truly are and figure out who paid your money. Okay. 
Kara. I regret letting him sit on that throne. I guess uh, you did not lose totally. At least your daughter is still involved. How long is it going to take before her wedding? I beseech you, look into the seed of time and tell me what you see in the future about my daughter and the prince. Oh no, Agazi. Too many questions for the Osa confuses it. You know, cheating and failure to adhere to the dictates of the gods has caused a lot of harm for me. But I promise you one thing, nothing is going to happen unexpectedly or not destined by the gods. Only pray, pray, pray that the gods will favor you and your household this time. Don't tell me you're still mad. Never said so. Tasha, I know you. You're my kid sister. I've lived with you all my life. Don't be like this. All right, I believe there are a few things I need to explain to you, especially when it concerns my relationship with Zara and the issues surrounding her. You know me. You and I grew up together. You know, it's not my decision to be locked down on this. But I've been made to understand that tradition supersedes everything in this kingdom. You know me, Tasha. I don't give a damn about kingship or Father Dawes. All right? He is so attached to it. What would you have me do? I, as the crown prince, would have to play by the rules. That's all I'm doing. You know, it's funny how one throne could control so many people's lives and happiness. Ah, my sentiments exactly, I tell you. Because I've been wondering too, you know. Look around. See what we're dealing with. The people in this kingdom, they believe that um, the kingship is a privilege. And I'm thinking that you and I, Tasha, should. Be kind enough to be appreciative. Yes, I'm, all I'm saying is, can you please be patient with this woman? Be patient with Sarah. She will learn. She will come around. I promise you. Yeah, she just pulled another stunt today in the city. Everybody's talking about how she got embarrassed by some governor's son over a dinner-related issue. Oh, no, that's, that's not possible. That's, that's not Zara you're talking about. Her pride do not allow her for such a stunt, I tell you. Really? Why don't you call your personal guard to find out how big her ego really is? Are you sure you are ready? I should be the one asking you that. I love your guts. Good day, my lovely father. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. 
What is this news in town about you and a certain man? You should have known better than washing your dirty linen in the public. Papa, they're just rumors. When I hear the truth about my daughter, I know it. Do you know how many prominent men in town that have heard this news? Or do you want to put me to shame? It was just a harmless introduction that caused all this talk in town. Oh, so you introduced yourself to a young man and he started insulting you. You want me to believe you, Zara? No. I asked Agoba to get his number for me. Oh my God! Agoba the palace guard. An enemy. Are you stupid? Oh, you should have known that before you send anybody on such an errand, you buy the person off. I'm making you a confidant. Hey. Obviously, the, the, the king must have heard this. Oh, please, Papa. The king is the least of my problems. Why, why do you always say that? Because. If anything happens and we run out of luck, I will make sure that our lineage feels royalty through me. That is why. Oh, that's my daughter talking. It's a dollar. <laughs> but you have to be very careful. I will. Yes. <laughs> Do you think Elvis has heard about it? Dad, aside losing the throne, is there any other reason you want me to marry this girl? Son, if we lose this throne, it is going to be the biggest embarrassment of the sanctuary. And no destruction will surpass that. And I don't want that to happen. Father, Father please. Father, please. That this is the 21st century. Kingship is allowed on pass. I do not see people in this time and they wanting to kill themselves over it. At the same time, no matter how far an African man might claim or will claim to have traveled, he can never be more exposed than the white man. No, certainly not. Son, you have to marry that girl and keep shame away from the family. Father, that's an odious task, I must tell you. That girl does not trigger any kind of positivity in me. What she's done since I, I got home is making me scared of what I'm getting myself into. Now tell me, Father, is that the kind of wife you want for your son? Elvis, I am not going to teach you how to deal with your woman, am I? Information. I have less than one year to hand down this crown to you. So I want you to begin to get used to that time frame. By the way, is this what you came to discuss with me? For now, Father. Yes. I hope I've made it clear. You can go now. Welcome. 
become the right heir to the throne of Agaba. Your Majesty, you are welcome to your kingdom. Welcome. Para, para. I thank you. No more kutu kutu. Yalo. Mpoto mpoto. Yalo. All the gods of Agaba Lord. I thank you for making me see this day. Thank you. Yalo. <laughs> Agaba village is in trouble. What is wrong? You look like you saw a ghost. I saw a feminine creature in the forest that possesses power more than Okaramo. Nine. Stop saying this. Do you know we could be banished because of this joke? This is no joke. I shot at a wild dog and she blocked it with her body. Hmm. Nay, I don't understand though. The bullet hit her, but nothing happened. I'm scared. Hmm. Nay, did you visit a Zim's pan wine shop? No, Ego. What sort of stupid question is that? Hmm. I don't know. But nobody. Nobody will believe this. I mean, nobody. Yes, this is the place. Uh, what do you think? I like it. It's pretty big. Nice. Yeah, I'll just... Um, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I like the place, especially because of um, the topography of the land. All right. So I'll just tell the contractor to get those guys to um, start clearing all the way from that end. To that point. Yeah, it's nice. Oh. Can you feel it? Feel what? I feel a certain presence. I feel there is someone else here. Yes, there's someone else here. Me. No, that's not what I'm talking Hello? about. I should stop it. <laughs> I might not be able to prove it right now, but I can tell there is someone else. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go. All right, after you.
see, I guess eh, congratulations is in order to Unu Wagazi and the king. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, thank you very much, Unu. Uh, no retreat, no surrender. We should be expecting the engagement party soon. Eh? Uh, my king, are we on the same page? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Solicited visits. Huh? <laughs> Okaramo, I do not want to believe that you are laughing at me and my elders. Are you? The vulture can never be denied of his feasts. <laughs> Why are you standing there looking at me like some stupid idiot? Nothing, my princess. Go start this guy, my friend, and I hope you don't hit some hungry woman today. Quick! Hey, handsome. How are you doing? How are you doing? to all the things that you do. You smoke? What is this? The other day, it was you making a pass at some random man asking him to dinner. And now this? She smokes big deal. You know? Of course I do. Come on, Elvis. This lady sitting here schooled in the states. Okay, you've been out there. I'm sure you know what happens out there. You must have met women who do more than tobacco, marijuana, Indian hemp, skunk, otherwise known as K. So why are you? Listen up, Elvis. If there's something else 
your wife does and you do not lie. Be a man. Press up to it. Tell us straight up. Okay? I stop turning my palace into some cinema house. Because I do not like it. I don't like it. I don't like noise. Please. Will you listen to my conversation? No, my sister. No, my sister. When next you hear me having a conversation, you close your ears! In fact, move back, you, you stink! Move! It's open, Tasha, you can, you can come in. So Tasha is the only person oh. you expect, huh? Mother. I am really jealous of your relationship with your younger sister. Ah, come on, mom. <laughs> That's not the situation, man. I mean, I love you. <laughs> huh? It's just that Tasha is such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. She's, she's a sister like no other. She, she, she makes me happy. She, she brings with her a lot of peace and Sometimes, just sometimes I wish I could I could say the same about my relationship with Mother, you know who. I have heard everything that has been happening to you. All I can tell you is for you to take things easy. Hmm? Take things easy, okay? And um, I know that with time you will surely marry whom you love. Thank you, Mother. You always have the right words. Thank you. Thank you for lifting my spirit. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Mother, I um, I wanted a land that you do. Remember the one that um, Father and I had agreed upon to use as the site for the factory, remember, right? Yeah, I do. Something happened while I was there. I ran into this. All right, should I call her a woman now? Okay, maybe a woman, maybe a girl. I really couldn't make that out in the short space of time, but there was something about her mother. It seemed to me like she had lived in that forest all her life. Why? The way she looked at me before she ran off, told me. I'm not really sure she's used to human beings, or should I say civilization? But now the question is, do we still have people like that in this time and age, living in forests in our community? None that I know of. All I know is that Idu Forest is not a safe place to go wandering around. A few years ago, it used to be a very dangerous place. I mean, you would have gone there wandering there all alone. Come on, mother, you've started again. You, you worry too much. Okay, there is nothing to fear. Look, I'm just intrigued by this person. Son, keep your spirit of adventure in check. If you're looking for intrigues, go get it somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, you're just impossible. All right, all right, I've heard you. Uh, okay. Oh, well, don't be like that, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, forgive me. It's just... It's just one of those bad habits I picked up from high school. I promise I'm going to stop. Do you remember the last time we talked about this? You told me you'll try. And now you're telling me you promise? Yeah. Huh? Do I count on it? Yes, I, I cross my heart, honey. You know I love you, I would do anything for you. Oh. <laughs> so, you've already stood in my father's heart. I don't have much of a choice. Anyway, I just guess we'd um, find a way to to work something out. Oh, thank you so much. Do I count on your promise, sir? Yes. Come here, baby. <laughs> You promise? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, now that you've forgiven me, can I take you out for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Zara. You. Yeah. All right, my beautiful woman. After you. Thank you. You know, you seem to have Elvis under your control. He tends to listen to you at every time. What do you expect from Zara? <laughs> Hello, Alaji. My honorable Alaji. I'm sorry we're running late. I'll make it up for the wasted time. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Wait, I've been meaning to ask. Is Alcoba going to take us to the hotel looking like this? I mean, it's too skimpy. You know, Zara always has a plan. Leave Alcoba to me. Let me get change into something glamorous. All right, then. Hi. Just carry on, because I'm ready. O Karamo, eye of the gods, the dude does not gallivant in the day for nothing. What brings you to my home? And who is the young man beside you? Agazier, the owner of Agaba. This is the eye that brightens your future. The right pair to the throne of Agaba. Agazier, this is Obina, Richmond. Agazier, your son, the right hair to the throne of Agaba. Agaba, come closer. This is for you to keep your mouth shut concerning anything I do in your presence. And that is why I've asked you to come without the maidens. If you're able to shut up, huh? There is more where that came from. I'll always pay you in cash. Or maybe kind. Do we have a deal? It's a deal. With this amount of money you've given me, I owe you my loyalty. In fact, from now onwards, anything I see or hear about you, in fact, I know no evil about you. Good for you. Well, if I hear anything about me outside, that I know only you witnessed. 
I'll pay assistance half of that money. And you will vanish. Go. Chantal. Bobina, my son, I'm glad you are back. So your mother did all that to keep you away from me? Yes, Papa. She really did. Hey! The devil in her could corrupt the saint in any angel. She was a terrible woman. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Well, uh, Papa, uh, everything is still in place. Thank God I'm back. And I'm back to make you proud by ascending the throne. Uh, um, well, that, uh, that would have been nice. But uh, I want you to bear in mind that uh, the Botox is one. But if you carry it on the back, it gives an impression of two. Your sister is very much in the picture, and she has handled it. What do you mean, Papa? Uh, you see, the cats cannot attack the scrotum of a man who is awake. So in your absence, we, we arranged for your sister to get married to Igwe's son so that she could become the queen. Uh, because you were nowhere to be found. No, Papa. All I can say is that another bulk money has exchanged hands to make it possible and to seal the deal. But I want to tell you this. I am back. I am back to take what rightfully belongs to me. So I want you to let your daughter know that and her hopes. You should bring her hopes down. 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 Because the king is back. <sighs> Anybody could be grandmother's concubine, provided my hands are full of bush meat. What do I use?
don't see how you would be attracted to a woman that could do this to you. Natasha, please stop it, all right? I already told you before, this woman is not what you think she is. She probably hasn't seen a lot of humans in her time. I saw her, okay? I saw the look in her face. She probably did this to me out of self-defense. Wait a minute. Are you saying... How did she do this? <laughs> Trust me, you would. <laughs> You'd never believe me if I told you how this happened, so let's not even... Let's, let's. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Because this looks terrible. Honey, I've been looking for you every... Oh. Lord, what happened to you? How did you get that word? Will you mind your business? I will go straight to the point. Why are you here? Well, I just wanted to no, come on. Why are you here? I just wanted to come and find out why you have been avoiding me lately and you stopped calling me. Oh, well, the reason is very simple, Zara. I want to be happy. I want peace. And that? doesn't come with you. So if you don't mind, can you please use the door? Would you rather I call the guards to show you out of the palace? Good riddance. You two, get out. You vanish! So, what's the meaning of this? Why are you doing this? I came to see your son. Who hasn't called me in days? Only to find out that he could be happy without me. And Zara is not happy about it. You better bring him back to his senses before he will wreck you. Are you done? No. Our son's tuition fee for the year is due. And you know how strict private schools abroad are with timing, considering the fact that your kids attended such. I want the money in three days. Or... Are you threatening me? Are you? Ezugo, I know you know me. Maybe not as much as you should know me. I don't make threats. I make promises that I always love to keep. If you fail me, you regret the day you ever touched this body. Agrippa, you're going to tell me everything that happens in this palace, in and out. As long as it has to do with the king and the prince, you bring it to my notice. Am I understood? Yes, my princess. Do. My princess.
Shri Azam. How do you know my real name? I know things about you that you won't believe I know. So many. Who the hell are you? Obina. Akazie. Your elder brother. I have had enough for one day. No. I go back. Good morning, my prince. My prince. How are you? I'm fine. Are you doing anything for Sarah today? Not at all. And she didn't inform me of any last night. All right. I need you to get ready. We're going to the market. Market? You heard me the first time, didn't you? Yes, my prince. Zara, get a hold of yourself. It's not the end of the world. How can you ask me to get a hold of myself when my world is coming down on me? My, my biggest threat and my worst nightmare is back. And as for Elvis, I, I'm not even sure if he's thinking clearly anymore. The, the king! I don't even know if he's still thinking like a man! But you still have your backup plan, which is your son with the king. If the going gets too tough, you'll bring your son back to Nigeria. Assuming your rightful position as the king's wife. And if anyone stands in my way, I will not hesitate to destroy that person. Simple. And as for my father, I will make sure he knows that his wicked blood still runs in my vein. Papa? Papa? Papa, please wake up. Papa, please wake up. Papa? Help me, help me, help me. There goes you. Yes, Papa. Yeah, I got see It's that bad. It is swell. It is swell. Papa. Papa. Papa, please. Papa, please wake up. Papa, please wake up. Papa. Papa, please. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> 